Hey everybody, Vaping Gal Philly here with another review for you today. Today I am doing Blueprint. Um, I have three flavors for you. We have A-Train, we have Cream, and we have Park Avenue. Um, I did do these over the past couple of days in a dripping atomizer format as well as in tank format, and I'm going to review um, them honestly and uh, tell you which I thought was better for which. The first one we're going to do is A-Train and the description from the youngcoconut.com um, for A-Train says going towards a tropical approach A-Train is a pineapple mango flavor like no other. One vape and you are sure to be in love with its unique blend and balance of flavors. Um, this one I'm choosing to do on the dripper at 0.48 uh, wrapped with 28 gauge wire and uh, cotton and uh, let's give it a vape. I get the pineapple and mango however unlike other vapes that I've had have had these two paired together this is a melody that is like a marriage made in heaven between these two fruits. Um, it is not overly mango-y. It is not over pineapple -y. It is a perfect blend of the two that comes together so nicely, so smoothly. It's good in a tank. Um, I used uh, a bottom coil tank yesterday uh, to test it out. Works beautifully in there. Works beautifully in the dripper. It's not overly harsh. Um, you get this fruity goodness that really, to me, it takes me back to when I went to Hawaii. Um, and it just made me smile. So I definitely, definitely like that one. The next one I'm going to do is called Cream. And Cream, is, the description of Cream says, imagine a Butterfinger McFlurry, but not as intense. I did those on, uh, in the dripper as well. I had two drippers that I was working with yesterday. One was set at 0.58 uh, on 28 gauge wire with cotton. The other was 0.48 with 28 gauge wire and cotton. Um, I found it to be too intense in the dripper. Um, I do know that the dripper that you use plays a role in the intensity of a juice flavor as well, so I did keep that in mind. Am I saying it's a bad flavor? No, I'm not. It does taste like a Butterfinger McFlurry. However, I actually prefer it in the Nautilus tank, so um, I'm going to take a vape of it. On the inhale, you get the Butterfinger flavor. On the exhale, you get a little bit of the Butterfinger uh, chocolatey, you know, crunch, and then you have that creamy back note to it. And it just makes it a really desirable vape for me. Um, as you can tell, I kind of like it a little bit. Um, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I am a desserty style vapor, so I absolutely adored that. The third one I'm going to review is called Park Avenue. And Park Avenue's description says, true to its name, our strawberry lemonade juice is sweet and sour mix of freshly sliced strawberries and tart lemons, a must try. Okay, I found the description a little bit contradictory. Uh, tart lemons is one thing, lemonade is another. So when I saw the description of this, I got a little excited. I'm not a, a citrus vapor per se, but I do like strawberry lemonade during the summer. So I was really looking forward to it. Um, I did it in the Aspire BDC, which is what this is in right now. I believe it's a 1.8 ohm coil. Uh, and I believe, if I remember correctly, I think I have this set at, at 3.5, which is the lowest on the e-power. And I'm going to take a vape and then I'll tell you what I think. Okay. I like it, but I don't. And this is why. Um, it's a little on the tart side. You get a strawberry but the strawberry is not as sweet as I was hoping for and I think it's because of the lemon flavoring that was put into this. Um, when I think of strawberry lemonade you think of a sugary lemonade not overly tart like unsweetened lemonade which is what this reminded me of. I would use it once in a while it would not be an all-day vape for me. I didn't even attempt to put it onto a dripper because of the fact that most citrus vapes to me on a dripper just 
are overly pungent and I can't handle them. So I chose to just do it in the BDC tank. Um, I think this would be an excellent juice during the summertime if you were drinking lemonade that might have that sweetness to it. It might counteract a little bit of the sweetness in your in your uh, lemonade that you're drinking um, and be very refreshing, but it wouldn't be one that I would vape all the time. Um, I would also keep it around for um, when you have a little bit of vapor's tongue. Sometimes if you vape something that is lemony or, um, you know, palate cleansing, which lemons are known for, um, I've had had success with using that before in the past when I had vapor's tongue. It kind of reset those taste buds. Um, it's not a bad vape. It's just not a vape for me. I wanted to love it because I was looking for that summery lemonade style vape, but to me it just tasted like strawberry and cut lemons. So I can't help it. Maybe you guys like it. If you like tart vapes, you would really enjoy this. Anyhow, those are the three that I am reviewing for you today. I hope that it's been some kind of help to you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to put it down below. I will put the link to the Young Coconut. I believe you can also get these at Giant Vapes and I believe e-juice.com um, which also carries other brands like um, Blueprint and Standard and, and Space Jam and those kind of, of um, vapes would would carry it. I will double check and put the links to the places that I know of um, that carry the blueprint line for you guys. Until next time, vape on and vape strong.